Welcome to Grimpy Man's Reviews. Today we're looking at the Heim Vision Greets One Smart Video Doorbell. This was sent out to me by the manufacturers. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Let's have a quick look at the specs here. They're written on the box. So it's got day and night vision, two-way audio, human detection, instant notifications, local and cloud storage. It takes up to 128 GB micro SD card. It's not included. IP65 waterproof. Some more information on this side, Wi-Fi connection, it runs on the 2.4 gigahertz, battery powered, intuitive app, chime included, voice messages and device sharing. You could share it with as many people as you want. That's a good thing actually, you're not limited, but they have to have the app as well. It works on the Time Life app. Let's open it. Right, to show you at the back before I open it. It's got a picture there of um, the Bell and mob a mobile. QR code to download the app, Google Play and App Store. Here's a full 1080p camera that. Free gift stuff. It's packed quite nicely. Let's see what that is, that'll be the paperwork. A warning security sticker. Happy, not happy. It's got the contact details there. An instruction manual, which is very well written. Look how it's got images for everything and text as well. It's explaining step by step how to set it up. I got that actually. The doorbell, look at that in more detail in a bit. That's the chime. It's got three batteries included, AA. That would be the accessories. All this was included inside this box. It comes with a full size to micro USB charging cable. You have the option to hardwire the bell or it does come with a 9,600 million power rechargeable battery, which they say should last you six months, but that depends on the amount of traffic you get at your house because it's not a 24 seven recording doorbell this. It's only when someone rings it, it'll wake up and of course start recording then. A reset pin and two little screws in there. Some more mounting hardware, these as well. A screwdriver to open the back of the actual bell. Another little tool. You'll need these if you want to hardwire the doorbell. Some 3M stickies. They call this a nameplate. Onto the doorbell, that is the lens. It has a 166 degrees field of view. And as I mentioned before, it's full HD 1080p, PIR sensor, speaker, push there, of course, when someone pushes it. That little bell symbol there, that is also your Wi-Fi indicator. Some branding there. This side, it's got a microphone, of course, because it's two-way audio. At the bottom, it's got the charging port and reset hole. Just remove the bracket. It's got the contact points there. You need to use wiring parts I showed you before. If you want to hard wire it, you have to put them on there. The bell from the back. The contact points there. They of course match up with the ones in the bracket. Two screws there and the batteries are pre-installed. So that's good. You've got an option of running it on rechargeable batteries or hardwiring it as well. I need to remove this. Some big batteries in there. Remove that. Once you remove the batteries, you could see in there, that's where the micro SD card would go. I'm going to put one in now. I'm putting the 32 GB one in. Let's come on red. Need to screw these back in now. Pop it back in the bracket. And it says you need to let it charge between 10 to 12 hours. When you charge it, it's going to turn red, of course, while it's charging. Once it's fully charged, it will go blue. Let's pair it up. Just get my phone. 
that's the app. Uh, I'm on Google, but if you're on Apple, same thing. Heim Life. Let's install the app. I need to create an account first because first time I'm using this. And once I've created an account, then I'll come back and go through the next steps. I've created an account. I'm saying tap to add. Doorbell or battery camera. Doorbell. Please power on the device. What did you do in that? Press the bell button and tap next. Please reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds. Okay. Wait for the indicator light to flash red. Hear that noise? Cuckoo. Okay, next. Select the Wi-Fi network you want to sync with. Yep. Please choose a 2.4G network. Then enter your network password. Please remove the protective film from your camera lens. Tap next to show your QR code. Then hold the code in front of the camera lens at a distance of 5 to 8 inches. Okay, so when I press next, it's going to bring a QR code. Connecting. Please wait a moment. Okay. It's gone blue. Device found. Come up as a number, I could rename it. That's my Netgear armor kicking in. Done. Now, point that there. Should get some feed. There we go. That was really easy to set up now. Before we dive into the actual app, let's connect the chime up. And I, I need to charge the bell up anyway. The battery. In. So everything is provided here. You don't need anything extra, like find a screwdriver or find the batteries. That often happens, doesn't it? Looking at the chime, that's obviously the speaker. That on the left is the pairing indicator that next to it will light up when it's working fine. At the bottom, it's got a port there to charge it. Nothing on the sides. On the top, that's reset. The middle one is volume, up or down. And that's different um, um, tunes for the actual bell. So let's see if it pairs up. That's gone blue now. It's quite it's loud that. I'm I'm just shocked at how quickly everything paired up. So that's working as well. That's working. All I need to do is charge this now for 10 to 12 hours. And then when I come back, of course, we'll go through the app. Before I put it in charge, I forgot to mention the screws that I showed you before, the ones that were with the reset pin, these down here. One of them you'll need to put at the bottom of the bracket. No one runs away with the doorbell. Just pop that in. Okay, while I thought the doorbell is charging, we'll have a quick look at the app. So this is the interface. If you push these three buttons on the left, We'll let you know, go to the doorbell, click on the doorbell, it's loading. I have a live feed there. On the right hand side where it's got a pencil icon, if I click on that, let me know my email and the device name, I could change it of course. Receive alerts, that's on. Device, share. I haven't shared it with anyone at the moment. Device information and then installation guide. Basic functions. Here you could control the speaker volume. Could record your own messages if you want and the night when i'm leaving down auto it will automatically turn into night mode when it's night and of course day when it's day power management battery and remaining batteries charging power saving settings motion detection that's off at the moment but i'll turn that on later on recording management 20 seconds 40 or one minute I have put a 32GB SD card in here, but I haven't formatted it yet. 
So I'm going to do that now. Very important to format your SD card. Cloud storage, I haven't taken out cloud storage and about the device and delete device. If I press the back arrow, it says live, I could screenshot, intercom, record, motion detection and album. If I click on that, of course there's nothing there at the moment. Next to that is history. It's got a timeline there as well. Calendar, pick the date. Album, of course, there's nothing there at the moment. Cloud, which I haven't activated it yet, so cloud takes me back. Message, sharing history, I haven't shared it with anyone. Alarm messages, doorbell. That's me earlier on when I were connecting it. I've got it's got a calendar there as well. You could change the dates back out of that. System messages. If they've got any updates or anything, it'll let you know in there. Really basic to use, and it's got these three options here where you could share it, view your previous recordings, and of course, that's the cloud. But oh, it gives you try seven days for free, seven days free cloud storage. I am really liking this app, it is really basic. Of course, on the left hand side, where the live feature, you've got the day and time. Then it's letting you know the battery as well, 84% and it's still charging. The audio, which I muted because I was getting feedback. Standard definition or HD. I won't really make a difference to you anyway because you, there's nothing much to see there. And pushing that will, of course, turn the screen around. Overall, I'm really impressed with this bell. It's got a really nice, easy app to use. It sends you notifications instantly. You're not having to wait around. Like sometimes there's a lag in cameras or smart doorbells, what I've reviewed. But with this, none of that. I like the way the battery is right in front on the home page. So you're not having to dig in, going through a sub menu to look at how much battery you've got left. Great little product this. Leave a link in the description box below if you're interested. If you found the video useful, a like would be appreciated. Subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.